This is Damon Fordham, author and historian, and I'm going to tell you today about something that happened in an interesting part of Charleston. You are now looking at Cromwell Alley, which intersects with Franklin Street, off of what is today known as the Robert Mills Projects. And if you were here 120 years ago, you would have heard great black storytellers like Caesar Grant and Walter Mayrant and Amanitha Maybank enthrall their friends with fascinating stories, such as the stories of mermaids, of the marching ghost armies. And one story that Caesar Grant in particular liked to tell was that of the flying Africans, where the Africans who were treated so badly by the slave master that they became full of hope and looked up in the sky and they sprouted their arms as wings and managed to fly away back to Mother Africa where they could live in freedom. Folk tales like that. Well, it turns out that there was a white man from Ohio, Charleston, by the name of John Bennett, who moved down here sometime in the late 1800s and or early 1900s. And being that he, and he was very successful as a novelist, but being new to the South, he was not aware of the social mores that uh, forbade a lot of social contact as equals between blacks and whites. So he would go down Cromwell Alley and was fascinated by these folk tales, by these black storytellers. That, and he'd never heard things like this before. So he got to know them, became friendly with them, and he wrote down many of these stories. And soon he developed a pastime of reading them to whenever his friends came over. And whenever he would read the stories to them, they would say, they would always, without a doubt, say things like, This is really good stuff. You need to put it in a book. Well, in February of 1908, the Federation of Women's Clubs here in Charleston, South Carolina, invited them to their social meeting over at the St. John's Hotel, which was over on Meeting Street, now known as the Robert Mills Hotel. And so they, he, they expected him to tell some rather refined stories, but instead he told the stories that he heard over on Cromwell Alley of these great black storytellers, of the flying Africans as well as the mermaids, and worst of all, stories of the mixed-race lovers of Charleston's white elite, some of whom were related to the ladies in question. And they said, oh my goodness, Horace, how dare he, how dare he insult our refined, delicate ears by telling us these crude, unrefined, vulgar, negro stories. Oh, Horace clutched the pearls even. And so, needless to say, they didn't like that very much. Then, the next day, the Charleston News and Courier newspaper castigated John Bennett of how dare he produce these vile, vulgar, uncouth tales harming the ears of our delicate female flowers of the Charleston community and so forth. And so he was persona non grata among the wealthy white people in Charleston for a long time. But then, over the years, he would continue to collect these stories and continue to tell them to their friends. And 201, whenever he told them to people outside of this particular wealthy crowd, they would say, this is really good stuff. You need to put that in a book. And finally, in 1946, was published Doctor to the Dead, Grotesque Folk Legends of Old Charleston, which is a collection of the stories that he heard from the great African-American storytellers around Cromwell Alley. And surprise, it did extremely well and is still very popular today. And the popularity of that and other books of his basically led to his eventual acceptance by Charleston Society. So he died in 1956 at the age of 91. And to this day, Doctor to the Dead is often used as a source book for people who want to tell ghost stories and folk tales about Charleston, and it's still available in bookstores today, as a matter of fact. So 
It just goes to show you that when you walk around places like Cromwell Alley or Franklin Street and so forth, it gives meaning to the saying, if these streets could talk, they could tell a whole lot of stories. This is Damon Fordham talking about John Bennett, the African-American storytellers of Cromwell Alley and the book Doctor to the Dead.